Let's now turn our attention to how we can use and read an adjustable outside micrometer. Firstly, the size of the object to be measured should be roughly gauged with a suitable tool. Once you have determined the approximate dimension, you can then select the anvil that will accommodate the particular workpiece. Having selected, fitted and, if necessary, adjusted the standard of a particular anvil, the instrument is now ready for use. You must always remember to include the minimum anvil reading figure in your final reading. For example, if you are using the 50 to 75 anvil, then you must add 50 millimeters to the reading that is obtained on the micrometer scale. Let's now examine two different readings. Firstly, this reading is obtained using a 75 to 100 anvil. First, include the minimum anvil figure of 75 millimeters. There are 18 full millimeters showing on this datum line. Add this. No half millimeters appear after the 18 millimeters mark. Therefore, only include the thimble reading of 0, 4. The full reading is 93,40 millimeters. In this example, a 50 to 75 anvil has been fitted. As always, begin with the minimum anvil reading, in this case, 50. Add the full millimeters from the datum scale, that is, 6. One half millimeter division is visible. So add comma 5. 43 is showing on the thimble. Therefore, add comma 43. The total sum adds up to 56,93 millimeters. You should by now be getting the idea. So why don't you see how much you've already learnt? by measuring typical components for which you can obtain the manufacturer's sizes. When you are able to consistently obtain the identical readings, even after an anvil change, then you can say that you are 100% accurate. And that is what precision measuring is all about. 100% accuracy every time you take a reading. You can learn more about precision measuring by viewing other videos in this series.